Hello everyone, welcome to another video, this time a little bit more atypical. I wanted to follow up on my previous live stream where I kind of connected the philosophy of rereading high quality books with narrowing your focus on just a few select high quality poor teas and revisiting and drinking those teas rather than just a fire hose of books that you read through your life or a fire hose of, of teas. So I know it's very atypical, we'll be short. I know this video wants to focus on tea, but since that live stream had such a focus on rereading and the impact it had on me, I wanted to share with you all my top three rereadable books that I often recommend. Now I read a lot of books, but I wanna be careful that this video age as well. So I'm only going to pick three and then I'll explain why and then I also have a few runner-ups and honorable mentions that might be worth your time to dive into. But when I recommend a book I always like to be very careful because you don't want to loosely recommend a number of books to folks because then they might not ever take your recommendation seriously and actually take the step to purchase and actually read through the whole book. So I'm very careful what books I recommend, and I do not recommend them um, often. I all often just recommend one or two um, because people's time is really valuable. So the first book um, that has made a huge impact on my life, I have reread this book four times, um, listened to it probably once or twice beyond that. It's called The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. This book has gotten a lot of attention in recent years. I think it's probably one of the best books in finance in the last few decades for a number of reasons. It's broken down in chapters. Each chapter has a very engaging story. Sometimes it's a personal reference from the author. Sometimes it's about history. And then there's a really good educational component to summarize that important point. You can pick it up and start anywhere. It was very difficult for me to put this book down. It was very entertaining, especially in the world of finance. I think this is an absolute must read for everyone um, who engages with money in their daily life. Just helps you really understand concepts that I think are very, very important and timeless. So Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. I often recommend this to my clients and friends and one of the few books I recommend to anyone I encounter. Psychology of Money, great. Now, the second book um, would be, if someone wants to do a little bit more personal development, dive a little bit deeper, is Ego is the Enemy by Ryan Holiday. Um, I really went crazy in this book. I really highlighted it up a lot, took a lot of notes. I have a few quotes and saying literally on my wall that I look at each day from this book. Same kind of unique writing concept. He's able to take pieces of history, um, put them into a unique narrative so you can understand a point or a subject. A lot of this has to do with just realizing that success and resilience can be very complicated. Some people think ego is just being egotistical and overly confident, but also he introduced the idea that laziness is also a form of ego. Um, I had a really good few sayings that I have up on my wall from this book. Say little, do much. I often catch myself talking a little too much. So saying less, but making that impactful. Um, he also quotes the Stoics a lot in Stoic philosophy. Um, never be overheard complaining, not even to yourself. And once I read this book, I just dove into Ryan Holiday's works, all of which are fantastic and have a lot of rereadability because he incorporates history, a story, and a subject or point that he wants to kind of drive home in each chapter. Really difficult to put this book down. I've already reread it twice. Fantastic. That's probably where I'll stop for most folks. However, if you're in business, entrepreneurism, you open a business, maybe you're managing high levels of teams, then Good to Great by Jim Collins. He uses a lot of academic data, research papers. He spends a lot of time on these books. And they're really is interchangeable. You can do Good to Great 
or you can do his most recent book, BE 2.0. Both are phenomenal. BE 2.0 is more of kind of his life work reflection, revisiting his original book. Um, but this introduces the concepts of really being good enough really is the enemy of great. Because if you're good enough, what's motivating you and driving you to become even better? So kind of breaking into that so you can become a better person. I'll also introduce the concept of level five leaders. This would be another one I recommend for folks that are a little bit more um, entrepreneurial focused or having their own business, managing large teams. So these books I have all reread, I love, and I know I will reread these books in the future. So Psychology of Money, Morgan Housel, Ego is the Enemy, Ryan Holiday, and then Good to Great by Jim Collins. Now there's a few maybe honorable mentions that I think would be really good. A really short read, which I think everyone should be able to read this. It's quick, it's fast, it's a broad overview of Brief History by Will and Ariel Durant. Really timeless book. Um, Influence by Robert B. Um, Cialdini. This is helps you understand how people work, how the media works, how advertising works, and helps you kind of defend yourself against all the levers of influence that are constantly being used against us. And then another one, if you want to dive a little deeper into the financial realm of statistics, right? Most millionaires may not be what you think they are. Um, the millionaire next door, um, Thomas Stanley, who's a PhD, also his other book, Stop Acting Rich and Start Living Like a Millionaire, either one of those books, interchangeable, um, are fantastic reads. So hope you all enjoyed that. I know that was a little weird. We'll go back to tea soon, don't worry. But I wanted to share uh, the books that made the biggest impact on me. Now, I read a lot of books. All these are great. Outlive by Peter Teo, but not your daily reader. Very thick, very dense, but just kind of helps you get your health in order so you can make an educated and informed decision about medicine and food. Um, all great. Enjoy reading. Um, the more you read, the more you learn, the more you realize you don't know. Thank you all. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what are some of your favorite books. What books have you reread that you really enjoyed? What book do you like to recommend to family and friends?